Go closer. Sir, Sergio Barrone will be back again. No, yeah, because I'm gonna read this. <laughs> but I'll just put it down for now. <laughs> I'll give you your cue when you got a robot. Yeah. yeah. What's going on, Faded Culture? It's Sergio Barron, and we're back again with another haircut tutorial. Today, I got my boy John here on the chair, and I'm gonna be breaking down my simple steps on how to do a mid taper fade. I'm gonna trim the top, and I'm gonna also add some texture as well. This video was requested by Damon331. He said, I love the tutorials, man. I wanted to know if you guys are able to do a video on a mid taper. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that for him. Before we start, guys, make sure y'all are subscribed to the channel and also let us know down in the comments what other videos y'all like us to cover on this channel as well. So with that being said, let's just jump right into this. All right guys, so to start, I'm gonna trim the top to about two fingers in length. So what I'm gonna do is basically just with the comb, pick up some hair, base two fingers on the bottom and whatever hair hangs over is what I'm gonna trim away. So now that the top has been cut to about two fingers in length, next what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and just kind of start throwing in the texturizing. So now that I'm done with my sheer work up top, next what I'm gonna do is grab a matte clay and kind of while the hair is still damp, I'm gonna go ahead and rub it in there really well and then blow dry it into place. So now that the top is already all dried, next I'm gonna start by laying down my first guideline to start this mid taper. I'm gonna start it right there at this temple peak area. I'm gonna make sure it slants down and I'm gonna follow that same line back here towards the back nape area and then just make sure that it ends up the same way on the opposite side. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and just open the lever on the clipper all the way to lay down my next skyline. And for the next skyline, just make sure that it's about a finger in width.
Now that that one's done, next I'm gonna just go ahead and throw on the one guard with the lever all the way open. And again, just coming up about another finger width and length. Now just following the exact same process guys, throwing on the number two guard with the lever all the way open. Again, coming up about another finger width in length. By the time you get to this guard, you start kind of flaring out as you're setting in this line. Then repeating the exact same steps guys, coming up a little bit higher with the number three guard lever all the way open, just to finish connecting that side length to the top. All right, so now that we're done setting up these three guidelines, guys, we're gonna start by blending them out one at a time. I'm gonna start with this uppermost guideline right here and then work my way down to this middle one and then the last one. And for this top one right here, what I'm gonna use is that one and a half clip and I'm gonna position the lever right at that three fourth spot. All it is is the lever positioned right in between the lever being all the way open and halfway. Alright guys, so now as y'all can see that top line is pretty much blended out, we're gonna move forward and start blending out this middle guideline that y'all see right here. For that one, it's gonna take two guards to blend out, but first we're just gonna focus on taking out the initial start of it with that half clip, still leaving that lever positioned on that 3 4 spot. And then whatever kind of little dark area that it creates right above, we'll come back with the one guard, with still with that lever positioned on that 3 4 spot to finish taking it out. All right, so here, like I said, guys, it was gonna leave a little dark area right above. For that, we're gonna throw on that one guard, still leaving that lever position on that three fourth spot, and then just continue blending out that line. We're 
pretty much done with that middle guideline. And next, we're gonna move forward and start blending out this last guideline right here. For that one, it is gonna take four lever positions to blend out. First, starting with the clipper lever open a tad bit or to like about a quarter. Then we open it halfway. Then we open up that three fourth spot. And then we open up the lever all the way open a little at a time until that line gets blended out. All right, so now that the fade is pretty much done, next I'm gonna focus on taking out the rest of the bottom of this hair. First, I'm gonna come in with my trimmer upside down. That way it leaves a balder line on the head. And then when I come back and take out the rest of the bottom of the hair, you'll be able to distinguish a little faint line. And that's just gonna guide us as to how high to come up with our electric shaver. should be able to distinguish that little faint line and that's gonna be our guideline to show us with our electric shaver how high to come up. And then from here, we're just gonna go ahead and start shaving up to that little line that we left behind. And if you feel like you created any little hard lines again with the shaver guys, you can just come back in with the trimmer and just kind of blend them right back out. All right, now that I'm done with the fade guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start setting in my hard lines with my trimmer.
then before I start the actual shaving, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some shaving gel. That way we just help that razor glide a lot more easier. And then after I'm done applying the shaving gel, I'm gonna just go ahead and follow that up with some water just to help preserve the life of the gel to keep it from drying out. All right guys, so I am gonna be using our very own matte black Turkish razors. Y'all can find them on the website at fetaculture.co. For those that don't know how to use these Turkish razors, all you do is snap a double-edged razor in half, pull out one side of the razor, and then you just snap off the edges, and then you just slide the razor right in through the front at whatever exposure you'd like. So that's pretty much it guys for the shaving process. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of enhancements on the lineup area. And then I'm also just gonna blow dry the hair into the style that we're looking for. So that's pretty much it guys for this haircut tutorial on a mid skin taper with some texture on top. If y'all enjoyed this video guys, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments which I did or didn't like about the video. And also make sure y'all are subscribed to the channel so y'all can stay up to date with all the videos that we drop weekly for y'all. So with that being said guys, my name is Sergio Barron. This is Faded Culture and I'm gonna catch y'all on the next video. Peace.